Hey YouTube, Tom again, and I'm here with the ZTE Axon 7. This is the North American variant, and uh, pre-ordered from B&H Photo and Video. Uh, some of you might be wondering from my other videos why I would ever take a chance on a ZTE product again. Uh, you know, honestly, it comes off as I hated the ZTE Grand X Max 2, but honestly there was a lot of things about it that I, I, I loved. And as a company, there's a lot of things about ZTE that I like. It's just that for that phone in particular, there were some little glitches I couldn't get past. And the reason that I had to give this phone a try is that for the price, it is unbelievable what you get spec-wise. It's stuff you would see on your average uh, flagship. And from reviews I've seen, it, it should be pretty fun. Uh... I am going in, you know, kind of nervous because I do follow the Z community and I have seen some of the same type of problems crop up in a few units. So I'll be looking out for things like uh, the mic cutting out and random restarts. Fingers crossed that uh, this puppy uh, works as intended because I know right now supply is limited. So doing an exchange would probably be out of the question for quite a while. Um, now, like I said, uh, Besides it being a great price for the specs, uh, the thing that pushed me over the edge for getting this phone was some of the pre-order bonuses. And there was a lot of different uh, people out there selling it with different things, cases and such. But B&H uh, was the best because not only did you get these Samsung Level U wireless headphones, which I haven't had a chance to try yet, but that that's pretty cool. Uh, they got this hipster douchebag on the back, but hopefully I don't look like him when I'm wearing them. But, uh, pretty cool. And then, uh, if you had gotten in fast enough, you had gotten a $75 gift card. I hesitated and it went down to $25 by the time I bought it. But, um, $25 is still enough to go and get a Qualcomm, uh, Quick Charge 3 for my car. So, a charger, uh, f headphones, and no tax, no sales tax. It was really a, a no-brainer that I had to give this a try. And without further ado, let's get into this package. Um, first of all, really nice uh, presentation. So far, it's completely uh, wrapped. Uh, one thing I... This is very nitpicky is... I wish for the... This is the Ion Gray model. I wish they, they had uh, done uh, different packaging. Like a maybe a black box with uh, light gray lettering. But instead, they used the same box that they did for their Ion Gray. But... I mean, really nice looking. Let's get inside here. And there we have it. The phone. I'm a really big fan of the way this phone looks on the front. That the, the display goes almost all the way to the edges and I like the speaker grills and everything. Very nice. Now the back there. And this is something I was really kind of nervous about. Online, they make a, they make this phone look pretty ugly, especially in the, uh, the, the gold color, in my opinion. But uh, in the gray color, this actually looks pretty good on the back. I wish they had done something with these uh, volume rockers. I know on the ZTE, these kind of had uh, some metal working and... Uh, I'm on my Nexus 6, the power button had, you know, a texture to it. These are just kind of plain, but that's not too bad. And, uh, like I said, yeah, it looks really nice. And one thing that, for some reason, in videos, even probably right here, this phone tends to look fat. It's actually very thin. It fits really nice in the hand. Uh, size comparison-wise, it makes my Nexus 6 look like a giant. So that's pretty cool. Now usually we'd be halfway done with the unboxing here because most phones just come with a phone and a charger. But you come in here and you pop this out like a... Look at this. This is amazing. You've got your USB Type-C charger. Very nice. And again, look at this. The uh, last phone I got that had headphones in it was an iPhone. Nobody even does this kind of stuff anymore. The... This is what I was afraid of. They didn't match the headphones to the phone. If you had a gold phone, this works perfectly. But when you have gold headphones with a gray phone, I would have rather they either went all white or all black or, or matched it to the color. 
So that kind of was a, a bit of a disappointment. But I mean, can you really look a gift horse in the mouth when you have free headphones? And with the audio experience on this phone, this is supposed to take full advantage of that too. So that's cool. And built-in mic. And, and as you can see, this is uh, using Qualcomm Quick Charge 3, which is awesome. I like this over, you know, people might think of the Nexus chargers or OnePlus. I, I like it when it's more, you know, I don't, I don't want to say generic, but anybody could probably buy this technology and put it in their phones. So it's going to have more use beyond this phone. A Nexus charger, a Nexus 6P charger, only rapid charges a Nexus 6P. A OnePlus charger is only going to rapid charge. But this, at least there's an opportunity for it to be useful on some other devices. So I, I like that. Uh, let's go here, right here. Again, more of this gold. Gold everywhere. Gold trim everywhere, even though this is a different color phone. I really would have liked to have seen something, some effort put in to make it a little different. We have a little thank you with also an option to register your device and 50% off select ZTE accessories. I'm not actually sure what that would be for because on the ZTE website, it's more of a catalog, not a store. There might be a few things, but I'll have to check into it. There's not much there to uh, to buy, so that, maybe I'm wrong. I'll have to really take a hard look at it. Uh, more about the, uh, the two-year warranty. Um, this is another thing that really caught my eye on a phone that might be interesting because I really want to land on a phone that I could keep for a while. And right here, free two-year warranty. Uh, if it's like accidental damage, is only 80 bucks, and you can get it fixed, like if you crack your screen. But, I mean, a two-year warranty, uh, OnePlus would charge you around $80 for that. So, coming free with it. But, um, a note here is... Currently, if you unlock the bootloader, which is something new that ZTE has now offered because of demand, it voids this warranty. So, you know, just if you have any questions about something like this, I strongly advise you go over to the Z community. Uh, a lot of good people over there, a lot of tech enthusiasts, and, uh, you know, they'll help you out. There's a lot of posts already about this phone, so that can help you with it. But, I mean, so far, I mean, that was one of the things that jumped out at me in a... Uh, made me consider this phone as this free two-year phone. But again, I couldn't even probably use this right now if there was a problem with this phone because of the supply demand. So, uh, you know, in the future, great, but right now it's not going to help you out too much. Axon Quick Start Guide, yep. And <laughs> another thing is they give you an... It's a film protector, but still, this is stuff that other companies just don't do. Companies that you're paying $800 for their phone and they give you a phone and a charger and, you know, the warranty information. ZTE went the extra mile to give you a protector. I probably won't use this because I don't like film protectors. I don't even really like doing tempered glass. I, it takes a lot for me to even put my phone in a case. But uh, going that extra mile, that's awesome. And that's something I like about ZTE. And here we have a little SIM eject tool. And this might not be, you know, that big a deal to your average consumer. But with me changing phones so much and being a tech enthusiast, having a way to carry something like this around on my keys without it stabbing me in the thigh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And then down here should be something else that I really appreciate. Case. It's not, you know, super protective or anything, but... When did you ever hear of a phone company providing a case in the, the back? And I love this because one thing I keep on doing is I'll buy a phone, and before it arrives, I'll order a case off of Amazon, just in case. And if I don't like the phone, I return the phone, and it's either too expensive to return the case, or it's not worth it, and I'm out a few bucks. And at least now I can be safe that I have uh, something to protect the phone. And down the line, if I really do love the phone, I'll get it a better case. But again, ZTE didn't have to throw that in, but they did. Uh, last thing in here is, and it was almost easy to forget, is a USB Type-C adapter. With the adapters, uh, with the micro USB changing, a lot of you are going to have to go out and buy new cables, which can be expensive. ZTE thought of that, and at least will allow 
you to convert one of your old school USB types to C. So you don't that that's cool. I mean, how many times has Apple gone and changed the, the connector for their phones and just said, "Whoop, well, there you go. Go ahead and spend twenty dollars on new cables." At least ZTE thought ahead and helped you out that way. All this stuff combined is, I mean, ZTE was kind of thinking ahead of everybody else in the industry, and uh, it's, that's been one of the most pleasant unboxing experiences. Usually, like I say, there's nothing to really do in an unboxing. There's the Axon in the clear case, and I've never actually owned a clear case before. I've never kind of liked them, but I mean, that's not too bad. It shows off the phone. It adds definitely a, a good amount of tactile grip to it. Turn the phone on and so we could get a look at that screen real quick. I'd like to take the time, guys, to thank you for watching. Um, within probably next week, this time next week, I'll have up my, one of my full in-depth reviews. You know how I do it. And um, if anything should happen before then, I'll definitely try to post a video before then. But to make sure that you uh, get in on all of that, go ahead and hit subscribe now. Appreciate the like. Anything that uh, you could share with friends, you know, like, subscribe, share, would be greatly appreciated. And if you uh, feel up to it, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, uh, both at EdgeLimited13. And um, I really appreciate that. Uh, boot up logo again is in gold, but uh, it almost seems like the gray was an afterthought to the gold, but I mean, really nitpicking. If that's the worst thing I have to deal with, I'm okay with that. There is a plastic protector on the screen right now. That's just packaging, but I don't feel like peeling it off right now. And I just want to see this load right to the screen. Oh, one thing I will mention is the, the captive buttons have been quite a, a, a source of conflict among people in the Z community. Um, they are, they appear to be close together, but it's not a big deal breaker for me. The thing is, I do see how this will be a problem in darker environments, and it really should have been illuminated, like it is on the Grand X Max 2. It would have looked neat, could have been used as a notification light, and just generally so you usability at night, because I think you're really going to have trouble seeing that. But again, that, that was something that they added at the last minute, supposedly, and that's the reason that the pre-orders were uh, taking so long. And there we go. It's uh, been real fun, guys, and I will update you on how well this phone performs. Again, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.